Is magnesium really worth taking? This is episode five of Do Supplements Really Work? And here's what the science actually says. Let's start with sleep and get right to the point. Studies generally show that magnesium is good for sleep. People with insomnia tend to fall asleep faster after taking magnesium, and they may also sleep a little bit longer. And it also tends to help people without insomnia. In general, people taking magnesium report getting better sleep. Most of these studies gave between about 300 and 700 milligrams per day. And the studies that gave less than 300 milligrams were the ones that didn't see improvements in sleep. As for the different types of magnesium, we're gonna get there very soon. First, magnesium also seems to be good for migraines. Some studies show that it can reduce the frequency and intensity of migraines. And lastly, magnesium supplementation seems to be linked to lower blood pressure. Okay, so which type of magnesium is the best to take? Most of those studies on sleep use magnesium oxide, so there's some nice validity there. But some evidence shows that magnesium citrate might be even better absorbed. And some other forms with good bioavailability seem to be magnesium glycinate, magnesium chloride, and magnesium fumarate. Interestingly, in mice and rats, magnesium acetylchlorate seems to be very well absorbed and also tends to concentrate in the brain. But I haven't seen that form tested in like any human studies. I hope this was helpful. Please comment what you'd like me to cover next, and I hope to see you for episode six.